Hi, my name is Deborah Henney. I'm a wife, author, mother, speaker. Today, I'm going to release a prophetic word that had to do with a diadem. Now, I started to get this on June 15th of 2023, and it came more fully a few days later. Um, and I, God also took me to Isaiah 62 as he was releasing this word in my heart. Um, and on the 25th of June, I saw a diadem being held out especially saw sapphires and rubies. It was so brilliant and it was reflecting a great white light of glory. And in Isaiah 62, it says, For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not keep quiet until her righteousness goes forth like brightness and her salvation like a torch that is burning. The nations will see your righteousness and all kings your glory. And you will be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will designate. You will also be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal headband or diadem in the KJV in the hand of your God. And as I looked up what those rubies and sapphires meant or symbolized in the Bible, because those especially were highlighted in the diadem, I saw that um, they were connected with Reuben and Issachar. And Reuben meant behold a son and Issachar meant wage reward. And as I prayed on all of that, I felt the Lord say this, I am crafting beauty in my people, a beauty that will shine forth over the land. It is a beauty of power and of brilliance that is not of earthly origin and will pierce de deeply and broadly the powers of darkness, deception, and even divination that have shrouded the land. This is a beauty of righteousness, a righteousness that I am forging in my people as they yield and surrender themselves to me. This is a righteousness that is endowed with power and authority, a jewel-encrusted crown that will be proven as genuine, a crowning jewel for my people that I can raise up and shine over the land. This is the reward for those who seek and endure. A recompense of restoration is coming throughout the land, brilliance and beauty, healing and peace joy and rejoicing, celebration and unity as I draw more and more people into my heart as they see my work in and through my people's lives, which is a beauty and a joy that demonstrates the promise of life and deepest shalom. As I raise up my people as my diadem over the land, they will be drawn to the fulfillment of their deepest yearnings, yearnings that are satisfied only in me. This re great reward is found by those who earnestly seek me, my face, with confident faith. This reward is found by those whose hearts seek to keep my ways. This reward is found by those who love and honor. This reward is found by those who humbly surrender and cast their crowns so I can raise them up, so I can exhibit my glory through the work I have wrought. And with, there was a sense with this, uh, because God said he was talking about darkness, deception, divination that shrouded the land. And I really felt a deep connection between uh, divination and a spirit of Jezebel and a religious spirit. That there was like a connecting and an interworking specifically of those three. Um, and I, I know that and he has continued to kind of speak into that and given me more revelation about that and how it's, you know, kind of infiltrated within the church and has caused almost a, a silencing in the prophetic um, and a twisting and a warping. And God is calling forth a cleansing and an aligning and a straightening. And there's going to be a plumb line that he is calling forth and bringing up people to be a plumb line of his truth and hold the line uh, in, in the Lord for biblical truth and uh, the true voice of the Holy Spirit. Um, so again, God talks about, getting back to the word, he talks about the fulfillment of their deepest yearnings and yearnings that are satisfied only in me. And this sense too is uh, being satisfied with the position and the place that God has and the assignment that God has for you. Because sometimes you kind of feel like a restlessness, but God is calling us not to be restless, but to be rest full or full of rest in him, in the place that he has positioned us and in his presence. Um, so again, God is calling forth and in that, 
in that position, there's a calling forth of the beauty, brilliant, brilliant beauty that's going to shine forth over the land and draw people to him. Till next time.